So we start our, with our book, The Power of a Subconscious Mind. How this book can help miracles in your life? I've seen miracles happen in men and women in every walk of life, all over the world. Miracles will, will happen to you when you begin using the magic powers of your subconscious mind. This book is designed to teach you that your habitual thinking and imaginary mold fashion and create your destiny. For as a man thinks in his subconscious mind, so is he. Do you know the answers? Why is one man sad and the another one happy? Why is one man joyous and prosperous and the another man poor and miserable? Why is one man fearful and anxious and another full of faith and confidence? Why does one man have a beautiful luxurious home while other one lives out a major existence in a slum? Why is one man a great success and another an abject failure? Why is one speaker outstanding and immensely popular and another mediocre and unpopular? Why is one man a genius in his work and or profession while the other man toils and moils all his life without doing or accomplishing another worthwhile? Why is one man healed and so called incurable disease and other isn't? Why is so many good kind religious people suffer the tortures of the damned and their mind and body? Why is it many immoral and irreligious people succeed and prosper? and enjoy radiant health? Why is one woman happily married and her sister very unhappy and frustrated? Is there an answer to these questions in the working of your conscious and subconscious mind? There most certainly is. The reason for writing this book, it is for the express purpose of answering and clarifying the above questions and many others of a similar, similar nature that motivated me to write this book. I have endeavored to explain the great fundamental truths of your mind in the simplest language possible. I believe that it is perfectly possible to explain the basic foundational and fundamental laws of life and of your mind in ordinary everyday language. You will find that the language of this book is that used in your daily papers, current periodicals, in your business offices, in your office and in the daily workshop, your business offices, in your home and in your daily workshops. I urge you to study this book and apply the techniques outlined here. And as you do, I feel absolutely convinced that you will lay hold of a miracle working power that will lift you up from confusion, misery, melancholy and failure to guide you to a true place, solve your difficulties, sever you from emotional and physical bondage and place you on the royal road to freedom, happiness and peace of mind. This miracle working power of a subconscious mind can heal you to your sickness, make you vital and strong again. In learning how to use your inner powers, you will open the prison door of fear and enter into a life described by Paul as the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Releasing the miracle working power A personal healing will ever be the most convincing evidence of our subconscious power. Over 42 years ago, I resolved a malignancy in medical technology. It was called a sarcoma by using the healing power of my subconscious mind which created me and still maintains and governs all my all my vital functions the technique i applied is elaborated on it on it this book and i feel sure it will help you others to trust the same infinite healing presence lodged in the subconscious depths of all men through the kindly offices of my doctor friend i suddenly realized that it was natural to assume that the creative intelligence which made all my organs fascinate, fashioned my body and started. My heart could heal in its own handiwork. The ancient proverb says, the doctor dresses the wound and God heals it. Wonders happen when you pray effectively. Scientific prayer is the harmonious interaction of the conscious and subconscious level of mind, scientifically directed for a specific purpose. This book will teach you the scientific way to tap the realm of infin infinite infinite power within you enabling you to get what you really want in life. Your desire is a happier, fuller and richer life. Begin to use this miracle working power and smooth your way in daily affairs. Solve business problems to bring harmony in family relationships. Be sure you read this book several times. The many chapters will show you how this wonderful power works and how you can draw out the hidden inspiration and wisdom that is within you. Learn the simple techniques of impressing the subconscious mind. 
follow the new scientific ways in tapping an infinite storehouse. Read this book carefully, earnestly and lovingly. Prove to yourself the amazing way it can help you. It could be, and I believe it will be, the turning point of your life. Everybody prays. Do you know how to pray effectively? How long is it since you prayed as part of your everyday activities? In an emergency, in time of danger, on trouble, in illness, and when that lurks, prayers pour forth your own and your friends. Just read your daily newspaper. It is reported that prayers are being offered to up all over the nation for a child stricken with so-called incurable ailment. For peace amongst nations, for a group of mind miners trapped in a flooded mine. Later it is reported that when rescued, the miner said they prayed while waiting for rescue. An airplane pilot says he prayed as he made a successful emergency landing. Certainly prayer is an ever-present help in time for trouble. But you do not have to wait for trouble to, to make prayer an integral and constructive part of your life. The dramatic answers to prayer make headlines and the subject of your testimonies to the effectiveness of prayer. What of the many humble prayers of children, the simple thanksgiving of grace, as the table, as the table daily, the faithful devotion wherein the individual seeks only communion with God. My work with people has made it necessary for me to study the various approaches to, approaches to prayer. I have experienced the power of prayer in my own life and I have talked and worked with many people who also have enjoyed the power of prayer. The problem usually is how to tell people others how to pray. People who are in trouble have difficulty in thinking and acting reasonably. They need an easy formula to follow, an obviously workable pattern that is simple and specific. Often they must be led to an approach of approach the emergency. Unique feature of this book. The unique feature of this book is, is that it's down to earth. Practically here you are presented with simple usable techniques and formulas which can easily apply in your workaday world. I have taught the simple processes to men and women all over the world and recently over a thousand men and women of all religious affiliations attended, to special, attended a special class in Los Angeles where I presented the highlights of what is offered in the pages of this book. Many came from distances of 200 miles from each class lesson. The specific features of this book will appeal to you because they show you why a why often you get the opposite of what you have prayed for and reveal to you the reasons why. People have asked me in all parts of the world and thousands of times, why is it I have prayed and prayed and got no answer? In this book you will find the reason for this common complaint. The many ways of impressing the subconscious mind and getting the right answers make it an extraordinarily valuable book and an ever-present help in time of trouble. What do you believe? It is not the thing believed in that brings an answer to man's prayer. The answer to prayer results when the individual subconscious mind responds to the mental picture of thoughts in his mind. This law of belief is operating in all regions of the world and is the reason they are, phys they are psychologically true. The Buddhist, the Christian, the Muslim and the Hebrew all may get answers to, this, to their prayer. It is not because of the particular creed, religious affiliation, ritual, ceremony, formula, liturgy, incantation, sacrifices and offerings, but solely because of belief of mental acceptance and receptivity. The law of life is the law of belief. This belief could be summed up briefly as a thought in your mind. As a man thinks, feels and believes, so is the condition of his mind, body and circumstances. A technique, a methodology based on an understanding of what you are doing and why you are doing, it will help you to bring about a subconscious embodiment of all the good things of your life. Essentially answered, prayer is the realization of your heart's desire. Desire is prayer. Everyone desires health, happiness, security, peace of mind, true expression, but many fail to achieve clearly defined results. A university professor admitted to me recently, I know that if I changed my mental pattern and directed my emotional life, my ulcers would not recur, but I do not have any technique, process or modus operandi. My mind wanders back and forth on my many problems and I feel frustrated, defeated and unhappy. This professor had a desire for perfect health. He needed a knowledge of, of the way his mind worked, which would enable him to fulfill his desire. By practicing the healing methods outlined in the book, 
he became whole and perfect. There is one mind common to all individuals' minds, immersion. The, the miracle working powers of a subconscious mind existed before you and I were born, before any church or world existed. The great eternal truths and principles of life anecdote all religions. It is with this thought in mind that I urge you in the following chapters to lay hold of this wonderful magical transforming power which will bind up mental and physical wounds, proclaim liberty to the fear ridden mind and liberate you completely from the limitations of poverty, failure, misery, lack and frustration. All you have to do is unite mentally and emotionally with the good you wish to embody and creative powers of your subconscious mind will respond accordingly. Begin now today. Let wonders happen in your life. Keep on, keep on until the day breaks and the shadows flee away.